Rhythm has brought back our favorite classic bluegrass songs in the new Bluegrass Power Pick series, available at Amazon. Search Bluegrass Power Picks on Amazon and choose from the many collection titles containing the legends and pioneers of bluegrass music. Each collection title contains 25 to 30 classic bluegrass songs like these. Here's Don Reno and Bill Harrell. Oh, the nine pound hammer. Red Smiley. Mac Wiseman. Well, I'm sitting on top of the world. Earl Taylor and Jim LaFall. Milo Brown. When John Henry was a little bitty boy. Reno and Smiley, Vassar Clemens, Tater Tate, Jim Eanes, and many more. Available at Amazon, these vintage bluegrass collection titles are from the original masters and includes the best of Rule Rhythm's original recordings from the heyday of bluegrass music. Go to Amazon and search Bluegrass Power Picks to see all the titles available and enjoy our sound traditions from America's heartland and Rule Rhythm Records. <laughs> Hey everybody, welcome to Center Stage Live at the 615 Hideaway. I am your host, Missy Wolf, and we have a special show for you today with two great, amazing men that I consider family. We have Mark Allen Cash and Rick Mallory as the Forever Johnny Cash tribute. How are you boys doing? Good. I'm doing great. <laughs> I'm doing great. That's great. Okay, Mark, I'm gonna start with you. Who'd you bring today? Well, I brought this guy has been on stage with my father for the last 20 years. And uh, not only just a, a great guitar player, but a great guy. This is Mr. Rick Buck. He's from Pennsylvania, and I'm happy to have you here today, Rick. Thank you. All right, Rick. And who'd you bring? I brought Mr. Roger Eccles over there. He's my bass player and one of my oldest friends. Awesome. Well, I'm not going to keep the fans at home waiting because you guys need to hear what these guys are going to sing. So take it away, boys. All right. <laughs> I hear the train coming, it's rolling around the bend. I ain't seen the sunshine since I don't know when. Well, I'm stuck in bowls of prison. Time keeps dragging on. That train keeps it moving on down the side. When I was just a baby, my mama told me, son, always be a good boy, don't ever play with guns. But I shot a man in Reno just to watch him die. When I hear that lonesome whistle, I hang my head and Lord, I cry. There's rich folks eating in a fancy dining car They're probably drinking coffee and smoking big cigars Well, I know I had it coming I know I can't be free But those people keep a moving Oh, that's what tortures me That railroad train was mine I bet I'd move it on a little Farther down the line Far from Folsom Prison That's where I'd want to stay And I let that lonesome whistle Blow my blues away Yes, sir. All right. <laughs> Good job. Sing along when we're doing this because 
God, I, I just, I love that song. You know it's one of my favorites. Both of you guys know that. But Mark, let's talk about your career and what got you into the music business. But first, I got to know the story about your guitar because I see some initials in it and I, I want to know about that. Yeah, you know, this is um, a guitar that I'll cherish forever and I'll never let this, anything happen to this guitar. Dad bought this when I was about 11 years old and uh, it was a songwriter guitar that they just hung on the bus. It still has this leather uh, tie here, uh, but it's been on here since I was a kid. And Dad would hang it on the bus, and if somebody got a song idea or whatever, or if they just wanted to go over a song, they'd grab it off the wall of the bus. But I, at 12 years old, I got a wood-burning set, and I put TC. I started a T, and Dad finished the C to keep me from getting in trouble. You know, so he said, it's going crooked, so we're going to head and, and make it right. But the other night, he asked me if I would take it home and, and put strings on it for him. And I said, well, sure, Dad. And uh, he, he whispered in my ear, and then keep it. So he gave me this guitar, and uh, I'll always cherish it. And it's just great to have it now that I'm a little older than 11. <laughs> so, <laughs> I, I love that. That's such a sweet story. And your dad, I love your dad. He's, he's very, very sweet. Was he a bigger influence for you getting into music, or was it your uncle? Yeah, he was. Um, you know, I, it took a while for me I, to realize just how famous that my uncle was. Um, I didn't realize, of course, until many years later that what an impact he was in country music and the world. But uh, my dad started taking me out on the road when I was eight, nine, ten years old, uh, weekends and then summer trips, you know, when mom would let me go. <laughs> and um, nice. so he called me out on stage when, seriously, when I was about 14, and I kn the bug bit me. And I just, you know, uh, standing out there, and, and you can't see the crowd, but you know they're there and you feel the energy, and um, I started learning to play guitar, and he got me behind the microphone, and I've been there ever since. <laughs> so. Well, that is great, and I know you have some songs to play for us, so I'm not gonna take any more of your time. Take it away whenever you're ready. Oh, yeah, uh, are you want me to? All right, mm -hmm. let's do it. Um, I wrote a song about, you know, it, it was difficult to get Johnny Cash alone. Um, everybody wanted to tell him something, and usually something that he already knew. You know, they didn't know what to say to him when uh, they finally got to talk to him. They'd say, you wear black, or you're Johnny Cash, or you have a son named John Carter, you know. But when I did get him alone, he gave me some great advice. He said, Mark, sing from the heart. People will love you, and you can love them back. They will remember you. If you sing from here, they'll forget you tomorrow. And, and it won't have an impact. He said, if you sing from here, they'll teach you how to fold sandwiches at Arby's, you know, or something, you know, get out of the business. But some advice I kept of his, mainly most of it, and some of the, he told me to quit a few things, and I wish I had it back then, but I didn't uh, for a while. But I'm, uh, I'm good now, and I wrote a song called Uncle Johnny. Uh, we'll do it for you. The house was filled with friends and family We stepped outside to get away He leaned beside me on the fender Of Mama Cash's Chevrolet He asked me, how's your music coming? Ain't it great to stand on the stage It's the only time I'm truly happy I get to sing my cares away Asked him how he went for you to a superstar the evening air it cut right through us 
As he turned to me and asked Have you ever once considered How hard it is to be Johnny Cash To men he's a superstar legend among men A man in black for all the world to see I'm glad I had the chance to call him my friend And more than any superstar could be He was Uncle Johnny to me Life for any of us, it ain't easy And it don't matter who we are I've been just as proud to know that man If he'd never been a star Men's, he's a superstar, a legend among men A man in black for all the world to see I'm glad I had the chance to call him my friend And more than any superstar could be He was Uncle Johnny to me Oh, we miss you, Uncle Johnny. Thank you. I love that. Thank you so much. Absolutely. First time since I've been doing that song, I forgot the words. Can you imagine that? <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to show business, right? <laughs> you know what? It happens to everybody. Oh, if the people man. at home know if they've been watching that I mess up all the time. Well, I think they got the idea, but uh, you know, I, I first, it was the first time for everything. Mm -hmm. and, but thank you so much. I appreciate that. That song means a lot to me, and uh, I'm just glad to be able to uh, present it and do it today, you know. All right. Well, I think it's awesome, and I know you have another one for the fans. So, you mind doing your second one for us? No, I, I will. What, what are we going to do, Rick? What do you want to do? We can do whatever you want to do, man. <laughs> what we talk about, Rick? I think it was Love the Rose. Yeah. Good. Uh, yeah. All right. You got it. Yeah. You know, Uncle Johnny had a way. I think one of the reasons that he was such a uh, an impact, uh, he made you believe what he's saying. You know, um, and what a prolific songwriter he was. And uh, we'll do this song and I'll tell you what I'm talking about. I found him by the railroad track this morning And I could tell that he was nearly dead I knelt down beside him and I listened just to hear the words the dying fella said Said they let me out of prison up in Frisco For ten long years of paid for what I'd done I was trying to get back to Louisiana To see my rose and get to know my son Give my love to Rose, please, won't you, mister? Take them all my money, tell them buy some pretty clothes. Tell my boy that daddy's so proud of him. Oh, but don't forget to give my love to Rose. Tell them I said thanks for waiting for me Tell my boy to help his mom at home Tell my Rose to try to find another Lord, it ain't right, she should live alone 
Mister, here's my bag with all my money. It won't last them long the way it goes. God bless you for finding me this morning. And don't forget to give my love to Rose. Give my love to Rose, please, won't you, mister? Take them all my money. Tell them buy some pretty clothes. Tell my boy but daddy's so proud of him. Oh, don't forget to give my love to Rose. And don't forget to give my love to Love that thank you so much everybody at home for if if you want to know more about mark allen cash i'm getting all tongue twisted see i make mistakes too um go over to centerstagemag.com because we have other interviews and performances with mark allen cash we also have them with rick mallory forever johnny cash tribute so make sure you go to centerstagemag.com for more info on both of these artists and rick thank you so much for being here i'm honored to be <laughs> well before so honored. <laughs> It's a bromance. It's a bromance. It is. He's a, he's a gentleman. Now, yeah. when you two met, when when did you two meet? On your wedding day. Was that the first time you guys met? Yes, it was. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, ever since you ever since you guys met, you guys seem to have this like bond. And every time I hear both of you talk about the other, I just think it's fantastic. And and I love your spirit, Rick. I want to know what made you choose Johnny Cash. Well. <laughs> There's so many reasons, but I think the main thing is that he connects to just there. There's no quantifying him. You know that you he did everything. He did gospel. He he started rockabilly. He could do anything. He did country, and I think just universally, it's just has such an appeal, and it, it just always meant a lot to me. So, you know, it's funny. The um, there's a part in the movie Walk the Line, right? And Sam Phillips is, he just did his, uh, if the, for those of you who've seen the movie, there's a part where Johnny auditioned with a song and Sam Phillips kind of pushed him a little bit and said, you know, I, you know, that's okay, but I don't know if it's really you, you know, and what song would you do if it was with your dying breath? Mm -hmm. What song sums you up? Mm -hmm. And um, for me, you know, people who watch the movie know that he did Folsom, but for me, if I got asked the same question, it would be walk the line. I think that's by far his best, and it's what moved me, and I think it's just a masterpiece. Absolutely. All right, well, do you mind playing some songs for us now? I would love to. Well, okay. <laughs> Keep me on your side You give me calls for love 
hope that I can hide For you I know I'd even try to turn the tide Because you're mine I won't the love all four of you interact with each other is just fantastic. Yeah, yeah I'm on it. You, you go down Lower Broad and you, you walk the street down there and you hear it's amazing. Johnny Cash songs, you know, mm -hmm. this band's playing this and this band's playing this one all, all up and down the street. They always leave that last part out though. <laughs> <laughs> Good job. Good well, job. I, I love it, and I want to see more of you two together. And for the fans that are watching at home, if you guys live near Nashville, if you live in Tennessee, you're going to have a chance to see them perform where tomorrow? You go ahead. You go Storytellers Museum. That's right. Absolutely. Are you guys so excited? It's, it's to celebrate Johnny Cash's birthday. Yes. So what, what is the official name? Because I've been calling it the birthday bash, the cash bash. I've been calling it everything under the sun. I think everybody has too. <laughs> it's, uh, it's the cash bash at the Storytellers Museum. And it uh, starts at 730. And it's in Bon Aqua, Tennessee. You know, my uncle got that uh, uh, farm and, and building by mistake uh, uh, years ago. But he kept it. And he called it the center of his universe out there. He loved it out there. He said, Mark, I can carry toilet paper around in my hand, and I don't have to smile till my face hurts. You know, I can just, <laughs> just be me, you know? <laughs> and, and so uh, let it, 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 and that's where he had a great time with the kids and, and so on and so forth. But anyway, uh, my father's going to join us tomorrow night, uh, Mr. Tommy Cash and uh, Rick, and will be there, and Gary uh, Swartz, myself, and several, Rick. <laughs> and several others, you know, it's, it's going to be a good time. Uh, and some other family members. We've got um, Thomas Gabriel, who is He's Kathy right. Cash's son. Mm -hmm. And uh, you, people tell me I sound like Johnny. I really don't. I mean, you know, to be real. I mean, I've, I've got some tones in my voice that are like his. But my cousin Thomas, you close your eyes, you think it's him singing Absolutely. Johnny, you know. Uncle Johnny. He, I call him uncle. He calls him grandpa. You know, so, uh, <laughs> he'll be out there tomorrow night with his own band. He closes the show. So... Yeah, please come out. Absolutely. Absolutely. All right, and I hear you have a fun story about the song Sunday Morning Coming Down. Could, would you tell everybody at home what that story is? Well, you know, people don't believe that story, but it's it's absolutely true. Chris Christopherson got tired of, of trying to get Johnny Cash's attention, and um, he was a helicopter pilot in the service, and he kept his license in uh, medical uh, current. And he went to the armory, rented a helicopter, and set it down in Uncle Johnny's yard. And let me tell you, that got attention. <laughs> so, <laughs> so Uncle Johnny came out of the house and said, <coughs> what's he want? And they said, well, he's got two things in his pocket, Mr. Cash, and only two things. He's got your schedule. He knows you're home. And he's got a song for you called Sunday Morning Coming In or Down or something. And uh, Uncle Johnny said, bring him here. <laughs> so they brought him down, and you know what? Uh, they became best friends that day. Uh, they, they did. And uh, I think Uncle Johnny liked his style, don't you? You know, he liked Sunday morning coming down. I think that's a good thing because Chris was able to fly out that day on the, but he recorded it uh, the following week and um, he had his television show at that time. And they knocked on the dressing room door and said, Mr. Cash, your parents are out there with Chris uh, and you're going to sing Sunday morning come down on the show tonight. He said, that's right. And they said, no, you're not. You cannot sing, Lord, I'm wishing I was stoned on national television. And he said, why not? They looked at each other and said, we don't know, but you can't do it. Well, I don't think that was good enough for him. You know? So 30 minutes went by, and he came out and uh, opened up with, hello, I'm Johnny Cash. And the crowd went crazy, and he looked at Bob Wood and said, kick off Sunday morning coming down. <laughs> Bob did what he was told. You know? <laughs> <laughs> And the rest is history, right? That's right. Go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, my goodness. What an amazing experience. Now, do you mind singing that song for us? I'll do some. I'd love to. Thank All you, right. Missy. Well, I woke up Sunday morning with no way to hold my head. 
it didn't hurt And the beer I had for breakfast wasn't bad I had one more boys I fumbled through my closet and through my clothes and found my cleanest dirty shirt I washed my face and combed my hair Stumbled down the stairs to meet the day I'd smoked my brain the night before With cigarettes and songs I'd been picking I lit my first and watched a small kid Cussing at a can he was kicking I crossed the empty street Caught the Sunday smell of someone frying chicken Lord, it took me back to something I'd missed somehow somewhere along the way On a Sunday morning sidewalk I'm wishing, Lord, that I was stoned Cause there's something in a Sunday That can leave your body all alone And there's nothing short of dying Happy as lonesome as the sound of them dirty city sidewalks It's Sunday morning coming down In the park I saw a daddy With a laughing little girl He was swinging And I stopped beside a Sunday school and listened to the songs they were singing As I went on down the road Somewhere far away A lonely bell was ringing And it echoed through the canyon Like a disappearing dream of yesterday on a Sunday morning sidewalk I'm wishing, Lord, that I was stoned Cause there's something in a Sunday That can leave your body all alone And there's nothing short of dying it's half as lonesome as the sound Of them dirty old sidewalks and Sunday morning coming down On those sometimes dreadful sidewalks And Sunday morning coming down Yes, that's good. Thank you. I love that. And fans, you're going to love this even more because not only are these guys going to be playing at the Cash Bash tomorrow night, you guys are also playing on Saturday. Where are you playing? Uh, my wife points and tells me where to go, Missy. I don't know. <laughs> okay. I have they, <laughs> they are going to be performing at Boot Barn in Lebanon, Tennessee. Yes, yeah, yes. and I'm going to be there, so you guys got to come say hi. But at Boot Barn, you guys can get our favorite boots, Durango. So yeah. I just want to tell you guys, you've got to get your Durango boots at Boot Barn in Lebanon, Tennessee, and maybe these guys will autograph them for you. Absolutely. And special shout out to RFD TV, too, because without them, this show would not be possible. And now I'm going to send it back to Rick because he's got another song for you. But I had to get that in there. Mm. You guys got to come see us on Saturday and get your Durango boots. Durango. 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 <laughs> I got them on right now. <laughs> My mom and dad watch it all the time. That network. Oh, yeah. <laughs> RFD TV is amazing. Yes, they have amazing shows. <laughs> 
you know, uh, I, I love songs for different reasons, and they, they reach out to people for a multitude. But one of the reasons I like this song is because it had one, of, I think, the, one of the funniest or funkiest licks. It goes. So they start that, and then Johnny added this part. Too so much, and I love watching. This is the first time I've got to see you both perform at the same time. Yes, so first time I've ever I ever. cannot wait till tomorrow night. Fans at home, you guys got to come down to Bonacqua, Tennessee Storytellers Museum. Mm -hmm. If you can't make tomorrow, you got to come Sun or Saturday to Lebanon, Tennessee Boot Barn. Get your Dringo boots and, and meet these guys and hang out and chat and talk with us all. It's going to be a great, great, great time. I hear you have a special melody song, Mr. Mark. Do you mm -hmm. mind? Medley. The medley. Yeah, Sorry. That's, no, no, that's all right. Missy's that's all wrong. Right. Medley. I just wanted to say you know, a, how yeah, good it right? is to see you again. I screw up all the time, but it's okay. I just wanted to say how good it is to see you again. And, you know, I uh, haven't seen you in quite a while. And uh, I know. It's been forever. Yeah. It seems like it's been forever. I know it, man. Thanks for having us out. You know, Absolutely. Um, yeah. This, uh, I'll put this little medley together. Uh, see how you like it. Okay. Pull some <laughs> Never heard that before, have you? I hear the train coming, but it's rolling around the bend. I ain't seen the sunshine since I don't know when. I'm stuck in Folsom Prison. Time keeps dragging on. That train keeps moving on down the sun and tone. All right, I'll do this now. Well, my daddy left home when I was three. He didn't leave very much from my ma and me. This old guitar and an empty bottle of booze. 
I don't blame him because he brought and hid, but the meanest thing my daddy ever did, before he left, he went and named me Sue. Well, it must have got a quiet laugh, and it took us all night for the staff, and it well, he must have thought it was quite a joke And he got a lot of laughs from lots of folks Seems I had to fight my whole life through Got him, Mark, come on. <laughs> I got it one piece at a time it Didn't cost me a dime You'll know it's me when I come through your town I'm all right around in style I Drive everybody wild I'll have the only car there is in town Everybody knows where you go when the sun goes down I think you only live to see the lights of town I wasted my time when I would try, try, try the Lights of a lost or glow, you're gonna cry, cry, cry you're gonna cry, 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 and you'll cry alone When everything's forgotten and you're left on your own You're gonna cry, cry, cry You're gonna cry, 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 cry Fantastic, <laughs> fantastic. I, I love you guys so much. But Mark, I gotta brag on your wife a little bit. Yeah. Because you brought her up a little bit ago about saying, you know, where you needed to be. She just pointed you in the right direction. Right. Okay, she has hooked me up. You guys at home, you don't even know. Miss Shelby Lavender, you can find her on all social media. She makes this amazing jewelry. It's all one of a kind, and this piece is so stimmy. It's mine, and nobody else can have it. It's mine. I'm keeping it. <laughs> um, and no, she made my earrings, too. She's a fantastic, fantastic artist. And if you guys don't know her jewelry yet, you guys have to go follow her on social media, Shelby Lavender, and that is with an I, not a Y, correct? Right. I'm correct. All right. I just need to make sure. But you guys, please go check her out, because she's amazing, and she you're just not gonna find jewelry like it anywhere else. And it's fantastic, and I wouldn't say that if I didn't believe it. You guys know how I am. I only promote the stuff that I love. Durango boots, I still need those American flag boots. Just Durango. saying, <laughs> gotta get my Durango boots. <laughs> um, so come, come find us on Saturday if you guys can't make it to Bonacqua, Tennessee tomorrow. But you're gonna be missing out on one hell of a time if you don't come out tomorrow because we're also, is the one piece at a time car gonna be on display? Absolutely, it is. Oh. Because that was in your mashup, and I, I had to remember to, to say that. The one piece at a time car is an amazing car. Do you know the story behind it? Can you, can you share that with well, everybody? I, I do. Uh, Bill Patch was his name. He uh, had a coal mining company out, out west. And uh, when the song came out, he was, an, of course, an avid Johnny Cash fan. And uh, the song came out, and he, he took it to his warehouse, and he ordered everybody that worked for him, uh, 70 guys, I think, and, into this warehouse. And, and, and he played the song. He made them listen to it, you know, I'm, and from beginning to end. And he said, who can build this car? And one old guy in the back said, I can. And he did. It took him eight months. And, you know, I got to meet the guy that built the car. He came into the museum, and a nice little old guy, and he said, excuse me, he said, is the one piece at a time car here? And I said, yes, it is. He said, I built that car. And I thought he was, you know, uh, funning with me and he had all the paperwork and he told me the whole story and what a neat story it is but I want him to come out to hear the rest of it okay yes all right you guys cliffhanger you gotta come out tomorrow you just have to and again for more on both of these artists that you've seen today be, be sure to go over to centerstagemag.com where we have interviews and performances from them they are great you don't want to miss them they're fantastic but the best part is seeing them live so get out tomorrow if you can't make it tomorrow get out on saturday you are going to love it and again shout out to rfd tv for making this possible durango and shelby lavender i love you so much until next time guys we'll see you soon Bye, folks.